All right, I'm all ready to go. Hey, y'all. You ready to go? You don't even know where we're going. <laughs> so listen. Who's driving your life? Who's sticking the key in the ignition and driving your life? Is the real question here. Who's controlling your life? Who is that one person that's not good for you? Is it a friend? Is it a family member? Whoever it is, are they good for your life or are they bad for your life? You know, I heard someone tell me sometime, one time, if you are the only one in the group of your friends that is the smartest one, that's not the group for you. If you are the smartest one in your group, that's not the group for you. You know why? Because if you are the smartest one in the group, then how are you motor? How are you moving on? How are you moving forward if you're the smartest one? Something's not right there. You're not learning. You're not learning anything if you're the smartest one in the group. You want people that's going to uplift your spirit. And uplift you as a person. Not someone who's going to bring you down all the time. Plus, those kind of people, they don't, have, they don't know what they want in life. But you know what you want in life. So don't hang around the same kind of people. If you don't know what you want to do in life. If you don't know what you want to do in life. I'll tell you what you need to do. First. Let's make a plan of what you want to do in life. You, nobody else, nobody telling you what you want to do, nothing else but what you want to do. Once you make a plan for your life, then do it. Don't wait on nobody. Don't, feel, don't wait to see if you're qualified because God is not looking for you to be qualified to do anything. God is not asking for your resume. He's asking for your yes. So don't feel like you need to be qualified to do anything. Just do it. Start the gift. Do it now. Don't waste your time. The longer you wait, the longer it takes for it to get started. Just do it. Figure out what kind of people you have in your life and get rid of the negative people. And let me say this too. See, you're young or you're old, whatever, and you have people in your life now that probably are not supposed to be in there. Now, some people are not supposed to be in your life and some people are, right? The ones who are not supposed to be in your life, get rid of them. Don't, don't disown them. Just get rid of them. They're not going to do nothing for your life but bring you down, right? Get rid of them. And welcome the good people in your life. See, sometimes we can reject. Sometimes we can reject good people in our life and don't even know that we're rejecting them. So, we re welcome good energy in your life and deny bad energy in your life. Have a plan on what you want to do. You know, a lot of people say... A lot of people say that um, the military... Let me see this first. I'm going to say this, and I may get some heat for it. But to, in today's time, in today's time, you do not need a college education to make a lot of money. Hey, listen. I know I may get a lot of heat for that, for that um, saying, but it's true. It really is true. I mean, look at people like Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey dropped out of college, and he's make, he's a millionaire. So you really don't need it. And, and let me say this also, too. If college is not for you, do not go. If college is not for you, do not go. All right? Go to college if it's for you. If you know. Now, let me say this. 
You don't you don't you don't need a college education to to be to make money, but you do need a college education to be an engineer. Okay? Let's get that straight. You do need a college education to be an engineer or to be a teacher or to be a certified nurse or to be to take care of children or to um to be a doctor. You need to need education for that. So go to school for that. Okay, don't waste your time. Go to school for that. You know, you know a lot of a lot of kids do. You know, a lot of kids do. A lot of kids, a lot of a lot of um teenagers, they come out of high school, and they um take a break, a long, 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 long break. Then they go to college. Now, between that break, they're even, they, uh, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, because all babies come from God. They, unfortunately, well, fortunately, they have a baby, right? They have a baby, and they get old, they have to, they have to get a job, and they forget all about school. Then they, then they realize that they need the school, they need schooling for the type of job they have. Then they go back. Right, which is which is all kudos to to parents and uh, young adults who go back to school after they have children. All kudos to you. But what I'm saying is this: have your priorities in order. Have your priorities in order. Um, have your priorities in order. I know what I want to do. Right, I know that I. And now, at first, I want to do business. I want you to have a business degree. But now I know what it takes to do business. So I want. To be a psychiatrist. So I want to do psychology. So um, that, that's what I'm going to do. Right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going I'm to be a psychiatrist. And I do want my doctor's degree. And I'm going to work as hard as I can. But if I fail. Let me get closer. If I fail. I'm not going to let that failure determine who I am. Don't let failure determine who you are. Don't let it determine who you are. So have your priorities and don't wait. Listen, I but I like I said before, all kudos to uh, older people that um that go back to college. I'm in college now, and I see people in their 70s, and in their 50s, and in their late 40s, and still in college, which is great, which is kudos, it encourages me, because the fact that they, they did not give up, it means the world to me, so all kudos to them, I hope I'm saying the word, I don't know what kudos mean, I heard kudos mean something good, so that's what I'm saying that for, anyway, so I, I, I mean, yeah, have your have priorities straight. Talk to someone. Have a mentor. Have someone you can talk to. If you're in college, stay in there. Don't give up. Now, if you're already in college, just stay in there. Stay in there. Now, if it, like I said, if it's not for you, don't do it. Because the reason why I say if it's not for you, don't do it. I don't want you to do something that you don't put 100% effort into. Because then you will really mess yourself up. Those of you who are in college, stay in if you can. If you can, stay in. And don't let failure determine who you are. Failure is only there to point you in a different direction. That's all failure is for. I'm, I'm still learning that. And, uh, you know, when people fail, they think that's the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Failure is just there to point you in a different direction. It's just there to say, hey... You, you couldn't go that way, so go do it another way. Hey, don't study this kind of study. Study this way. You know what I'm saying? So, failure is only there to point you in a different direction. Stay in there. You can do it. Oh, man. And even if you fail one class, it doesn't mean anything. If you really want it, go and get it. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. Go and get it. It took um, Eric Thomas. It took him, I don't know, 12 years, I think. I, had, I might be wrong. It took him 12 or uh, uh, 6 years to get a 4 year degree. Come on, man. So, uh, it might have been longer than that. I don't know. But Eric Thomas is a motivational speaker. Look him up. I'll leave the link down below. So, uh, come on. You can't give up. You cannot give up. I have to remind myself sometimes because sometimes I just, I can't do it. Sometimes I just, I don't want to do it no more. And I have to remind myself, yeah, 
I know. I said it, me. I'm the same way, too. I'm just like you guys. I, I, sometimes I want to give up, but I don't want to give up. You know why? Because I know that my son is going to look at me and tell, ask me one day, Daddy, why didn't you go to college? Right? Or not only that, which was college is not going to college is not a bad thing. If you don't go to college, that's not a bad. He may ask me, Daddy, you say you wanted to go to college, but why didn't you? That's another problem. So I don't want my son to do that, and I and I really want I really want my doctorate degree, I really want it. But if I fail, I'm not gonna hold myself hostage to it. I'm not gonna say, "Oh, Matthew, you're a failure." No, I'm not gonna say that. So, um, have priorities, right? Get rid of negative people in your life. Oh my Lord, get rid of negative people in your life, and 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 stay connected. Stay connected to people who are who are like minded as you. You know why dreams don't work out? Because you tell your big dreams to small-minded people. That's why it doesn't work out. You're not telling your big dreams to big-minded people. So hang around, get around people who, who, who dream big like you and watch where God will take you. All right? Also, if you still want to buy a shirt, if you still want to buy one of my first merchandise shirts, excuse me, y'all, that says, I have faith in me. The deadline for it is the 29th. That's the deadline. The deadline is the 29th and I won't be selling them anymore. Uh, and the reason why is because the company I'm with, Custom Eek, that's, 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 that's their deadline. And plus, I'm, yeah, so that's my deadline, 29th of this month, of this December, which is in three more weeks, I believe. Get your shirt. I'll click the link down below if you want a shirt. And comment. You guys comment, please comment down below what you and I got some big things coming up. So keep me in your prayers also. All right. Keep me in your prayers. Buy a shirt. The shirt's gonna help me. It's gonna help me expand my business. And I'm also giving half of the money away to charity too. So uh, that's gonna be a blessing to me. Uh, I wanna bless somebody this Christmas and a lot help me bless somebody. All right, you guys. Listen, I love you. Like and subscribe. Wait, before you click another video. Like and comment this video because I believe that if I can touch you and I can uplift your spirit, imagine who you who I can touch. Just imagine. It only takes one video to inspire everyone.